Hey my friend, it's Dirk. Congratulations! We are here halfway through the course so far. In this lesson, we're going to talk about multiple sections in theory. But before we do that, before we ever code anything, I want to take a minute and congratulate you on this. Because I know that thousands of people will take this course, but very few are going to go through the course till the end, till the middle, till the end, like you. So I congratulate you and I'm honored to be able to serve you here in this program. And I just want to let you know and appreciate it. I appreciate you to, for letting me to share my message, to share my knowledge with you. And I hope that you enjoy these series lessons because it takes a certain amount of commitment and just passion and drive in order to, for a person to sit down and do the work and learn like this. Because most people are just get sucked in the pool of pessimism, just suck in the pool of uh, entertainment. But here is the point. The point is leaders and successful people are seeking education. But losers, non-successful people, are seeking entertainment. So that is the message that I want to congratulate you because I know that I'm talking to the ones who is passionate about learning, who is passionate about growth, and I'm honored to be able to serve you in this journey. So let's go ahead into our demo here today. We're going to talk about multiple sections in tail review. Let's go ahead, do the demo with me. All right, let's add into our table view some beautiful sections. Now, this is the app looks like, this is how the app looks like after the previous lesson that we have in our UI table view course so far. We just have a simple UI table view like this. But after this training, after this session, we are going to have the title for each of the section that looks like this. Right, we have into different categories of product, and yes, we are going to put all of our products into this table view. How's that for a promise? So let's head over our um, Xcode, and then let's get started. I'm going to the products table view controller like this. Now, number one, we are going to have to change our data model a little bit because if you look at the data model that we have been using for over the last four sessions, we are practically using only one product suite, right? Only one product line, which is the second product line right here. And then we call own the product. Now what we want to do is we want to have all the product lines like that. And then instead of product, we want to change that into product lines. Like this. Now, this is is going to be an array of product line like that. Okay, okay. Now let's go and change our UI tail view data source. You see that number one, we have to change the number of sections in the tail view. Here, instead of having just one section, we are going to have the number of product line sections. Right? The number of product lines is going to be the number of sections. So we do product lines dot count like that. Next up is how many rows in each of the section. So each of the product line will have an array of products. It means that how many products are there in an in a product line will be that many rows in a section. So here we do what? Yeah, so you notice that we have a section argument that is passed into this for, uh, for us. So all we have to do is this is new. So we can do product lines, subscript, section, like that. Then at this section right here, we got that exact section that we want to do. Now we know how many products are there, right? So we can access that product that count. So this means that at this section, we find the exact product line that we want to display. And then we access the array of product, and then we know how many count. Cool. Okay. Now, for each of the self row at index path, the product now is different. So we have to access it differently. 
Number one, we need to get that exact product line. So product line equals product lines like that. And then I'm going to find, somehow get that section. Now remember that this index path has two pieces of information. Number one is what section is it? Number two is what row inside that section. Remember? So here we can do index path dot section to be our uh, index. And then the next one is let's product, or you can do let's product equals to product line subscript, I'm sorry, dot product. And then we can do let product to be our product subscript index path dot row. You see this? And then we assign the product to the cell. Cool? Now, all of these things, all of these things, we can actually do it in one single line. Now, I know it's, uh, I just want to show you, but here is how it looks like. Product line, subscript, index path dot section, right? And then we are going to dot product it. So dot product. And then we are going to get the index path dot row at that product. Now, this can be confusing, so I'm going to use the products just like before. Okay, so now let's run the project and see what it looks like. Here we go, this is our simulator. Open it up, and boom, we have a bunch of products. You see, it's so much more than before. Now, what we want to do is very simple. We want to have this kind of like separation of different categories. And you see that the section title, it sticks on the top. Cool, so let's do this. We are going to have, um, we're going to have just write one single method that allow us to have that guy, okay? So here is how it look like. If you look at this UI view data source, you can hold the command key click into this UI view data source, click into that, and you will see that this is a protocol. Now, this, for some reason, this is like in uh, Objective-C, so let me do it like this, okay? UI table view data source, like that, and then, okay, it doesn't allow me. Uh -huh. Let me find a way for you to show you that, okay? UI table view, and then we need to find the data source. Do I table view data source right here? Okay, so here is how you do it. Cool. All right, so you hold the command key. I want to show the header file of the UI table view data source. So hold the command key, click into this UI table view, click into that, and then you see the class UI table view. And then below there, you see there's a uh, wick open var data source of typed UI table view data source. Hold that, click into the UI table view data source, and you see this guy, right? This is a protocol. You see it? Okay. And then, uh, where is that? The next thing, you see that we have number of rows in the section. And then we have table view self a row at index path. Cool. And then we have number of sections in the tail view. <laughs> see that? And then you see this guy, table view title for header in section. Tail view title for header in section. That is what we want to implement. So let's head back into our um, products tail view controller. Below our method, we are going to have title for header in the section, like this. Cool? Okay, so now we know what is that section right here. So we can access the let's product line to be our product lines, subscript index path, I'm oh sorry, subscript section, right? And then we can access that product line dot name to be our title for the header. So we just return the product line dot name. Cool. So now let's run the app and see how it looks like. Here we go. Okay. So that is how it looks like, my friend. We have the beautiful 
uh, very simple but very nicely done and very easy to do right the title for the header in section now this is one very simple way that we can do the title of a header in the section there's another way that we can do is we will need to queue a view to have the section we'll talk about that in a later episode of the code mastery shell so i hope that you are subscribed to the channel so that i can continue to give deliver for you those trainings all right, my friend, that is multiple section. It's simple, isn't it? We just have like two methods to implement. It. So um, there's a lot more. Let's go ahead to the next lesson. We're going to talk about delete some rows. That's very important because, for example, in your app, maybe you want to have a social network apps that you have a tail view of friends. And then maybe you want to delete some friends. Or in simple, you have a to-do list or a checklist and you want to delete some rows. How are you going to do that we'll talk about that in the next lesson delete some rows so let me know in the comment section if you have any questions and just let me know that you are here you are halfway through the course that's the most important thing so let me know in the comment section that you are here i see you in the next lesson delete some rows